Hi Cancer, this is Mary Ellen coming to you from Moonrise Cottage for your April 2017 Soul Tarot reading. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm very happy to have you here. I am a clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient individual and through some changes in my life in the last six months, like many of you have experienced, I uh, have been led here to YouTube to, um, I, I made an agreement uh, essentially with Spirit that I really wanted to change my life in significant ways to step deeper into my own life. And as a result, one of the things that is happening is that I am here on YouTube. Um, you will see me touching the cards. It's one of the ways that I bring the messages through in a channeled way. I am using the beautiful Celtic Wisdom Tarot deck developed by Caitlin Matthews. Last month, you were on a journey. Actually, as all the signs were, all the signs, uh, all people here on Earth are on a significant journey. And it is essentially a journey towards self-actualization in a spiritual way. In order to bring the changes that we want to see here on Earth as we walk our human journey in this time of great shift and change. And last month, you were delving deep into your power as a Cancer. Your beautiful, soft, watery energy. And finding a place of strength within that in order to, to, pardon me, to bring your gifts to the collective. And uh, I find it really heartening and very um, beautiful that at the center of your reading this month is the Dedicator. Clearly this is a card about initiation. And so you are uh, deepening your process this month in a way that is profoundly significant. This card, I think, speaks very loudly for itself. It is about release and surrender to a higher form of knowledge in order to begin a pathway that will lead you forward and again, deeper into your own life, to your nature, to what it means to be a spiritual initiate. And I believe the end goal is to take up your place as a spiritual warrior and a spiritual warrior does battle with the heart. The heart mind is the phrase that always comes through to me from spirit when I'm doing these readings and it means having your heart and your mind connected in a very firm, altruistic is the word that's coming, firm altruistic manner in order to do battle, sacred battle, spiritual battle to help Hmm. I, I'm getting more messages about being an initiate, but I, I want I want to finish the the, the other phrase. Um, you know, to help step in to join your energy with the energies around you and that are available to you here in this plane. Okay. So the spirit is pushing me. There is a story here about initiation, and it's a type of initiation that is specifically meant to bring your gifts forward by deepening your understanding of yourself and how you stand in a place of power even though you are so soft and beautiful and emotive and watery and deep there is a way for you to stand in that that brings value to everyone around you and you are empathetic in a very deep way. Many cancers have psychic vision and intuitive gifts. And the message that's coming through is about deepening the strength of that so you understand that that is the power you have. And I'm hearing, I'm, I'm getting a phrase that, that has to do with uh, ending your internal questioning about yourself. Okay, so this is the energy that's overlying the reading. It's giving it power, it's giving it beauty, it is giving it a theme, if you will, and it's giving light to the reading that is going to come out. So we know that we're going to see messages that have to do with this type of a journey for April. So here at the center of your reading, and there it is, look at that. That is a very profoundly beautiful card. 
This is the foundation of knowledge. And it's interesting. Um, if you haven't seen the reading for last month, I would encourage you to go check it out. Look at that. Deep across the divide, standing with the ancients in a place of spiritual wisdom. And this is the foundation of the knowledge that you hold. In fact, it was, in a way, what I was just talking about. Spirit is wanting you to know, <laughs> here's the word that's coming, unequivocally, in an unequivocal way, that you are acknowledged for this deeper aspect of your being. This card is about inherited wisdom. And again, um, you know, if we see it side by side with the initiate, the dedicator, we can understand more deeply what, what is in store for you. And the, well, hmm, I'm actually being corrected. Spirit, what I'm getting is um, two things. You know this about yourself because this is how you walk. But this now is coming to the surface through this type of a process, the inherited wisdom that you have because of your empath, that's what I'm hearing, because of your empath capabilities, you are now standing in a place and through the month of April will be developing the skills to stand very firmly in your place in order to take the steps that bring you forward through your human journey Seeking a bridge to your spiritual path. Okay, so let's see what is here. And look at that. There you are again. So clearly, <laughs> Spirit is speaking to you. This is a very beautiful card. This is the quest of art. Do you see that? Look. Look at that. Actuated, activated, imbued with sacred knowledge in this beautiful watery place peering out from behind the fronds and the blue garment does indicate change and shift and transformation continuing and this is where your passion lies you see the little red hat this is a youthful representation so spirit is acknowledging you that there is a new set point coming it is still in the phase of development There are discoveries that you are making. That is part of the illustration, as you can see. As if peering from behind some fronds to make a discovery about your spiritual life, about yourself. And also, I just want to say that um, the eclipse, the solar eclipse in February, was uh, highly activated by the sign of Pisces, a fellow water sign. If you haven't seen that video, I would urge you to go watch it. There was a lot of very important information that came through about the shift and change that we are all going through. And it will help you understand these readings as you go forward. Okay? So, on the very first step here in your human journey, you know, here's the message. This is where we're going. And it is being confirmed. Okay? So, let's see what is here. And there. Okay. So... This is the foundation of art. This is a really beautiful card. Do you see this person? Look at this card. Incredibly deep. Very activated at the heart-mind chakra. Suspended across the veil. Deep in meditation. About yourself. About your heart. With your sacred vision. Deeply, deeply in communication, if you will, during your human journey this month in this way. Do you see? Do you understand? Very beautiful. Very, very lovely. You are going deep this month. You began that process last month, Cancer, but this month you are deepening your process and your progress. That is the message that's coming through, okay? So let's, and there, look, this card came last month, so uh, I'm getting a nudge. Please, if you haven't seen it, go look at the reading for last month. This is the augury of art. It indicates a fresh beginning in this place. And do you see that? Is that not a visage of cancer, for heaven's sakes? That is the sacred cauldron out of which all abundance comes. 
knowledge and gifts, information, love, empathy, growth, wealth, and in this place we're, we're really talking about spiritual wealth. And so you are standing in this place, standing at the cauldron of sacred knowledge as a cancer, very deep on your human journey this month, very, very deep. And this is your set point. And so you are being acknowledged, and I believe the message is, it actually is coming through is there, uh, there is an acknowledgement of the progress that you're making and the way in which you're walking. And I'd be interested to know how you are feeling this month as we go through the month of April and in what way this speaks to you. It indicates some definite shift of, and the cards, if you look at them as a whole, uh, Spirit is nudging me a little bit before we go on, <clears throat> to just reflect about the lines that are developing here and the relative quiet. This is a very quiet reading in some ways. Here in your human path this month, you are asked to meditate on abundance, on, on uh, discovering the life that it is meant for you and that you want by meditating on your abundance, the place inside of you from which all gifts arise through your beautiful cancer watery nature. And this woman, if you notice, also has on the blue garments of, of shift and change. So we can expect to see some of that as we go forward. So let's see what is at the bridge. Uh, okay, so this is a reiteration in a sense. We were talking, or I was talking, about spiritual warriorship. Okay, and there it is. There's the warrior of knowledge. Do you see this young man? The story behind this card is about a young man who had to go and do battle with a boar in order to reclaim some things that were tangled up in the boar's mane. And it's a very dangerous mission to go on because of the nature of a wild boar. And so a spirit, there are a couple things about this for you this month. Overall, this card indicates putting in the effort, finding success, which is what these cards are really about. Coming to a place of success by walking your individual path and deepening your self-understanding and commitment is the word that's coming through to your nature. This card indicates being steadfast, being dedicated actually to a task. It does assure completion of the task in a successful way and Spirit is acknowledging that it is the challenge that you have, the difficulties that you feel as a Cancer. Here in this world where so, there's so much upset and what happens when we face the things that are frightening and difficult and persevere we come to a place of completion. And if you even just look at this line, this, this is the story that's being told. In some way, this card reflects this card, if you get my meaning. Okay? And standing between the two of them is the foundation of knowledge. So I believe you are going on a journey this month to solidify your commitment to the foundation of knowledge that exists inside of you. Spirit is saying, yes, that is the message. And you see this underlying two foundation cards right in a row. Here, spiritual knowledge, inherited wisdom, the wisdom of the ancients that you carry inside of you because of who you are. And also, the foundation of the knowledge here that you walk with. So you have, you walk with an enormous amount of gifts, Cancer. That, you know, truthfully, many people struggle to get to this place. And that's why this is at the center telling you, Spirit knows that you have inherited this wisdom. And it is time for you to step into that in a way that is 
bringing this to the center of your life because it is here in the center is a very strong foundation and again last month we were talking about building strength it's very interesting so through this journey that spirit is acknowledging may be very challenging for you it's going to take some time it's going to take some skill it may feel like a battle that is why this is a warrior card okay and just underlying it there is a quest so you are going on a quest this month as a warrior of knowledge the type of knowledge that you already possess inside of you in order to dedicate yourself in a deeper way let's see what is here <clears throat> so again uh, um, I believe this is a similar message being reiterated in another form to help you understand this is the courtship of skill this is a beautiful card do you see the the uh, depiction of the line in the background the sun it is meant to be the sun okay there is light shining down on you cancer as you take this journey this difficult warriors journey These two folks are joined together in courtship in order to develop a set of skills. And they have each what they need, is the phrase that's coming to me. Do you see the um, cups at their back, those vessels? Each of them has sacred gifts. And I believe this is you. This, this is you, Cancer. Okay, do you see the blue garment? It is time for you to join together with yourself in, there's a dual message, in order to join the collective, which is sort of where we started uh, with this message. In order to activate those cups and the things inside of them, do you see how they're a little bit dark at the top? We can't see inside of them. It's a mystery. There is a mystery that you are going to be unraveling, but you are doing it in a place of strength, in a place of light shining upon you from the eclipse of the sun, and you are standing on the river of life, standing at the shore. Again, another image of water. Spirit wants you to know that you are really being directly spoken to and that when you take this journey, it is a sacred journey in order to join together with the collective and with the two halves of yourself that may have felt a little bit separate. Some of the cancers I know Talk about the challenge for them that it is to walk through the earth, not feeling totally understood, not feeling totally empowered, feeling separate because it is because the depth of your emotion, if you will, is something that most people just cannot understand. And you are being acknowledged very deeply. So yeah, there's a message coming through. Give me a moment. Basically, what, what I'm getting is that um, this place, this place that you are stepping into, it is a youthful journey. There is something new that is coming to you on your spiritual journey. And in a sense, in a, in a, a clearly, right, when we see this, clearly there's something new coming, coming. It's a deepening and a joining. So let's look and see what else is happening here. We're getting a lot of information about that. Ah, okay. So this is the dialogue of battle. So do you see how spirit is speaking to you? This young man is climbing up a pinnacle. He is on a new journey. It's a number two card. Okay. This is, this is a new quest. And we did see that you are being sent on a quest of art learning more deeply about the quest, the art of living, coming out from behind the fronds to see the magic that exists in life. And as you take this journey, you are going to be having a dialogue with all the things that the spirit world has to offer you. The spirit is telling me, hold this card up. That is what this is about, okay? Yes, you are on a journey. You are becoming an initiate. And in that place, there will be dialogue with the spirit world. Okay? So, 
The other thing that's significant about this card, I'm going to hold it up very closely. Do you see how intertwined they are? Not only is this young man climbing and reaching the pinnacle of his efforts, in so doing, he joins with spirit, with the sacred eagle, who has a very exalted kind of vision and has the capacity to soar high above the earth effortlessly for miles and miles. If you've ever seen an eagle soar, think about that image. You are in connection with the divine in a very deep way this month. Very, very deep. Look at, look at all of these ways, okay? Do you see this line? Here you are. Here is your foundation here on the earth. You are deep. Spirit is acknowledging you and asking you to go a little deeper still. With this foundation of inherited wisdom that you came in with, this is part of your nature cancer. And now it is time for you to take the next step and to reach the pinnacle in order to have this courtship of skill with spirit to develop your nature further. And it is going to feel a little bit like a battle, perhaps. We see battle here, and we see battle here. And so the foundation is set. Your foundation is relatively firm, but it is deepening as you develop your skills to come together with yourself. So let's see what is here. <clears throat> there. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was just talking about. That is the augury of skill. Look at this beautiful card. You see this young warrior has been transformed. One of the things that I love about this card is that the chest is open. The heart chakra is naked. There is no longer a need to hide and protect yourself. You are in a place of lush greenery. You have new skills and you are going to begin using them in order to send your abilities out into the world. You see the shining city in the background and the beautiful glow. This is what Spirit is asking of you and just guiding you very gently. This is a very gentle reading and it is about going deep in order to come to a new set point with the foundation that already exists for you with some assurance of abundance and love and wisdom in this place of trust and surrender. In a way, it's about surrender, okay? So Spirit is asking you to let go a little bit, trust in your foundation, know that you are climbing higher, and when you reach this pinnacle, you are going to find that you have a very valuable, very strong new skill set to utilize here in the world in order to send your love as a cancer and all the intuitive wisdom that you have out into the collective. Do you see the progression on this line? That is what is happening for you this month, cancer. Let's see what is here at the outcome. Look, <laughs> I love the way spirit speaks to us. I really, I just so truly do. Oh, Cancer, look. The Empowerer. This is what I've been talking about. Do you see this card? This card is the Empowerer of Will. And I believe we spoke about that last month as well. This is the Sacred Sword of Victory. It is unbeatable. This is a goddess. She is the sacred warrior goddess who ensures victory. Okay? This at the knee is representative of the soul. The ancient Celtic peoples believed that the soul was inhabited in the head. Okay? And in traditional tarot, this is the strength card. So your journey to deepen your strength as a human being walking the earth, coming closer, hmm, I'm being corrected, not closer, that's the wrong word spirit says. Hmm. Ah, okay, here's what it is. Do you see this? There's a very solid feeling to this card. Even though we see you suspended in the universe, clearly you are here in a very solid way 
there is new growth coming in from the outside. Let me show this to you again. Do you see? There are fronds coming in from across the veil. Your foundation is deepening and becoming more solid. That's the word. <laughs> Your foundation is becoming more solid in who you are. The universe is not asking you to change. Spirit is asking you to go deeper in to your own nature. And this process, even though we see battle, okay, and skill development, and a dialogue of battle, and clearly a warrior at a new set point, the augury of skill, and the outcome card shows another warrior, there is a softness to this on the table. A lot of love coming through. It's as if Spirit is, is wanting to just hold you and give you assurance that the path you are on is correct. And you know what? I'm hearing something come through. What, what I'm getting is that you know this. I don't really need to explain it to you. But Spirit is just utilizing me to show you so that you can see with your human eyes. That's what I'm hearing. With, see with your human eyes and believe. That's what it is. Really believe that you are in a place because of where all of humanity is. This is your walk into the collective. It is in this manner. And we need you very deeply. Very deeply, we need you in all of these ways. And you can affect the collective. And <laughs> I'm being interrupted again. Spirit is telling me, you already know this. I'm just reflecting it, okay? You affect the collective just by walking through your life. There is no giant task for you other than to develop yourself. And I know that for, for many of us, that is enough of a task in and of itself. You are being deeply acknowledged for the beauty that you are. This is, okay, here's what Spirit is saying. This is who you are here on this planet. This is what your nature represents. And it is time to step more deeply into it and to acknowledge yourself so that your vibration will shift and change. That's what this is about. Spirit is asking you to go deep into your nature in order to raise your vibration. Because as you walk this earth, that is the change agent. You know, some of the signs have to do battle. I, I'm an Aries rising, and I, my goodness, some of my challenges are on the external realm and your challenges are on the internal realm because of your beautiful, soft, loving, accepting nature. And that is the weapon, so to speak, that you do battle with. And, uh, you know, again, we're talking about spiritual battle. So these are the gifts that you have. It is your very nature. It is your foundation quite clearly. And so it is time for you to deepen your vibration, to go deeper into the center core of your existence, of your identity. Do you see? Spirit is asking you to deepen your foundation within your own identity in order to bring the gifts. Because this, this whole line is all about cancer, right? It's an acknowledgement, I think, along with a request and information saying you're going to come to some new discoveries but the new discovery is really about your deeper nature. So that is really a beautiful message, Cancer. And again, there's a lot of love flowing through my heart. Almost as if I was with you, I want to just, you know, just hug you. Just put my arms around you and hug you. That, that's part of the message from Spirit. So I wish you a really wonderful April. I would love to hear if you have some time to put a few comments on the thread and just help the rest of us understand you more deeply and what it is that you are dealing with as you walk through these days in 2017, having come through the eclipses and the full moon and the new moon last month, there's a lot of change going on. So Cancer, thank you so much for everything that you are and everything that you do. I will be looking very much forward to seeing you again next month and hearing anything you have to add uh, to teach us, the rest of us, the things that we need to know. Thank you so much, Cancer.